Straight in and Maxwell just darts it in. Punches it straight back down the ground. It's a funny game now, Michael, when you get the new ball and you introduce a bloke off three paces. Maxwell looks like he wants a piece of him and goes 25 rows back. Oh, he oh, he's, caught. Stars he's caught away. it. He's caught it. I think he has held on to it. It blew him off his feet. Well, that's a high ball. Been going back. Not going back that far, though. Toyota 6 from Clark. He moved to 30 from 15. To Maxwell. I don't think there's any trouble coming out of it. Maxwell's causing trouble, though. That is another Toyota 6. What are we seeing here at the MCG? Maxwell, 59 from 23, striking at 256.5. Oh. oh, he hasn't timed it quite so well. This could be the end of Clark. First wicket falls. Cairn gets the wicket. And the Hurricanes get their first wicket with a score on 97. Clark goes for 35. Well, he's on 99. Works it round the corner. One of the great Big Bash hundreds from Glenn Maxwell. His second for the season of 41 deliveries. The second quickest of all time. And that man right there is a pure entertainer. Straight through Larkin. He falls. Well done to Thompson. Pretty good over that in the surge. Two for 141 from 11. David. Oh. Pumped down the ground by Stoinis. Six more. We'll let you go, Caleb. There's a bit happening out yeah, there. Yeah, thank you. Just heard Caleb in the background. Oh. Stoinis <laughs> pumped his first six of the evening. Stoinis just getting a taste for it now as well. Hasn't quite got as much. Yes, he has. Six more. Didn't think he got quite as much. Toyota six. That was a low, flat smoker. Yeah, flatter but harder. Doesn't time it quite as well, but has got enough of it. Three sixes in the over for big Marcus Stoinis. Out foxed. Who's going to go? Got it fine, Maxwell. It runs down towards the rope. If it gets there, it's the equal highest score in their comp. It's the highest team score, and Max is equal to his mate Stoinis, who's out in the middle on 147. What are we seeing? Maxwell gets it fine again. has knocked up the highest score in the history of the Big Bash. 149, not out. Oh, oh hit a six over back at square. Take your pick. This is a massive, massive score. Well, they, they just seem to be playing as if they know exactly where the ball's going to be. Oh. 149, carves it away. 150 for Glenn Maxwell. A wonderful innings of power, timing, skill, and just talent from that man right there. Pumped down the ground from Maxwell. It'll be a single. Remarkable effort by the Melbourne Stars. Two for 273. Glenn Maxwell, 154 not out. Oh, there's a slip in. So Gilly, you were the master of the quick run rate. In all seriousness, how do you approach this as a hobo? Oi, ah. That is big over backward square. 25 rows back, goes on the ground, but that is what is required thanks to Toyota and plenty more of them from B. McDermott. Barmy Army clearly out. Oh. Hold him. That's the end of Jewel. Couch gets the wicket. We'll get back to the Army in a moment. Mm. First blow for the Melbourne Stars. Jewel goes for three. Straight down the ground from McDermott. And the first ball from Webster. Here's the second maximum. So many black gloves. Hasn't timed it so well this time, but he's got it into enough of a gap. Well, he's hit the six to be fair. <laughs> well, that's how powerful he is. He didn't hit that out of the middle, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, he's yeah. hooked that one. That'll clear everything. Exactly what you're talking about, Vaughan. Swing at the willow. Use of the feet. Oh, no. Straight back. Okay. Second wicket falls. Thompson charges off the MCG. McConnell gets his man. 
I think you might be right. Hey, my one's up. McDermott gets the gap. <laughs> Powerful man. <laughs> one little stand out there where there's some sponsors have got a, a bit of corporate work going, a bit of hospitality. Coaches. Nice position to be in. Oh, yeah. High from Matty Wade. Hasn't quite got the legs, and that's the end of Wade. Hinchliffe gets the wicket. A little skip there in the air from O'Connell. And the third wicket falls for the Cane. It's got under your skin there, haven't they? That's high from McDermott. Has a good go at it. There's a man out there. He tracks back. Takes the catch. That's the end. And McDermott. Cartwright takes the catch. And the fourth wicket ball. He was out. Hanscom hits that sweetly. Absolutely perfectly straight down the ground over the side screen. I'm going to go with Elise Perry. Yeah, and I reckon it'll be about. That's the end of Hanscom. Yeah, so pair of hands on the boundary. Maxi takes the catch. Oh, Webster gets the wicket. He's pumped the big fella. Five down. No, do I hey. Oy, that's a good hit. Should win matter. Nice for David. Nor do I recall a game where a team hasn't been trying to win either, Vaughan, to be fair. Already had him. Yeah. Another 12 ball 50. Out. Another one. Be couch. Three for 27 now. Maxi with another catch. He's all smiles. Well, I'll give three to Maxi. I reckon that's it. Now that he's taken that catch, I reckon that's locked that away. Final ball of the season for the Melbourne Stars. Squirts away on the leg side. Massive win for the Melbourne Stars on the back of Glenn Maxwell. 106 run win for the team in green, but their season unfortunately is done. The Hurricanes, they were belted tonight.